Father Stephen Gadbury coming at you again with the Priest Fit Challenge. As I said last time, I hope it's challenging. Part of challenge is pain and suffering. Are you suffering? Do you have the pain? If so, you need to ask yourself, just like I need to ask myself, should I push through the pain or should I stop and respect the pain? That's what I want to talk about today. Pushing through the pain. No pain, no gain. Um, or maybe pain is good or maybe pain is bad. First of all, I'm not a medical professional. Priest Fit is not a professional medical organization. So if you've got severe pain, go to the doctor. Don't go to YouTube or Google. Um, that disclaimer aside, um, I'll talk about physical pain. If you've got physical pain and it's severe, sharp, and the more you move that sore area, whatever it may be, uh, the more you move, if it gets worse and worse, stop. That's a good sign you need to rest. You don't need to push through that pain. Um, most simply put, that's when you should stop. If it gets worse and worse, the more you use it, stop. If the pain diminishes, the more you use that area, the more you slowly warm it up, the more you stretch it, the more you work it out, that's a good sign that you should push through the pain because that's just general muscle soreness and fatigue that comes from, the from you pushing yourself to your limits, to your edges, to your boundaries. And that's called growth. Growth is good. We want to grow. God made us to be great people, to great be great, you know, great creation. Um, and so, um, pushing ourselves to our limits is a necessary step in becoming all that God created us to be. Um, if the pain does diminish, you can push through the pain. Um, stretching helps with that. Slow, easy stretches, never forced. Uh, soaking in the bathtub with Epsom salts and bath oils is another good option. Massages, either professionally or done for yourself, are always good. If you have a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, a baseball, you can massage the sore areas. If you have a foam roller, you can roll out those sore spots as well. Um, overall, that's most simply push. Should you push through the pain, the simplest way of discerning that is, is just as I just pointed out. Does the pain get worse the more and more you use it? If so, stop. If not, it's usually okay to push through the pain. So what's the big deal for you and I spiritually? I want to bring always bring that into these little talks that I'm giving. Um, we are physically sore because we push ourselves to the edges. Pope Francis challenges you and I to go to the peripheries. That means loving to the point of the cross. And that's not always comfortable, but it's always possible. Um, we can, Because of Easter Sunday, we can call that Friday before Good Friday. Therefore, the pain, the suffering, the discomfort, the cross is good in light of Easter Sunday, only whenever we can truly love. If we do it for the sake of Good Friday, it's useless. If we do it for the sake of Easter Sunday, that's being like Christ. So if you're pushing yourself in ministry to the peripheries, to the edges, to your limits, that's good. Um, if you're becoming cranky and irritable and like a Scrooge, stop. Back off. Take some rest. God doesn't want us to be cranky, Scrooge priest. He wants us to be holy, happy, healthy priests. Therefore, if you push yourselves, and it hurts a little bit, but you're still charitable, you're loving, you're more Christ-like, that's exactly what God wants us to do. Guys, eat clean, be fit, be fit pray well. Uh, push yourself through the pain if you need to. Don't use it as a justification to be lazy, but allow it to be a stepping stone for growth. Uh, sometimes you got to work it out. Sometimes you need to stop and let it work itself out. Um, guys, discern well, good luck, and uh, God bless you.